Hello everyone, welcome to Lab Gab. This is Strawberry. We are looking at Patch Linden and we are waiting for him to start his opening speech at the opening ceremony of SL18B, which is the Second Life 18th birthday celebrations. Thank you for joining us. Um, he is going to be starting any minute now. I will show you guys the map if you're wondering where we are. We are on the SLB Dazzle region and it is packed here. So, uh, so you want to make sure that uh, you can, you know, fight your way in here. Let me know if you guys can hear everything properly. Hopefully you can. And uh, he will be starting any second now. We're just waiting on him. And as soon as he has done his speech, I'm going to take you around a little bit to SL18B and we'll discover some of the different places. Um, I'm not going to keep the show too long, so we're not going to explore all of it, obviously, but uh, you can find links to everything in the description of the video. And, uh, okay, it's about to start any second now. And if you are here, uh, he is going to be speaking on the music stream. So you want to make sure that you have your music enabled uh, in your, vo in your uh, sound settings and just hit that play button as soon as he starts. So I'm going to take you around to uh, uh, a few of the exhibits that um, I haven't been to all of the exhibits. There's over 200, so I'm still going through them, but there was a few that caught my eye that I wanted to show you. I also really want to show you the Tapestry of Time because we have a wonderful statue of Abe there. So uh, I want to show you that and uh, just a few more things. And then you guys can come and explore yourself. There are literally hundreds and hundreds of people here. Uh, so I am lagging, but once we get out of the live stage area after Patch has done his speech, hopefully my uh, FPS will be a little bit better. Um, but let's see. Let's hope he uh, is about to start soon. Yes, uh, it's it's very laggy right now, Eric. I I, I know. <laughs> I have all my uh, graphics kind of a little bit lowered, um, and draw distance also helps if you're here. So we're just waiting on them now. I think he's testing it out. And can you believe that Second Life is 18 years old? It's absolutely amazing. I have been here for 14 years myself now as a resident and uh, as a Linden I've been here for two years time goes by so fast happy birthday to everybody second life is everyone's all the residents so so the region that we're, we are currently standing at is called dazzle it's, it's the live stage if you look in the description of the video you will find um, a link to the live stage somewhere uh, or if you look in the destinations I forgot to link. Let me let me just grab uh, the slurl of where I'm standing. You can come and land on my head if you like. I'm sharing it in the YouTube chat, and uh, we're waiting for Patch to start his speech any time moment now. I think they're getting set up, and I'm gonna also be listening to it, um, listening to it on the music stream as well so just waiting for that if you are watching on the youtube channel right now write in the chat how long you've been in second life i want to see if we have uh, who the oldest person is that's watching right now i'm 14 maybe i'm the oldest no eric you're 16 wow so uh, let me know uh let me know how old you are in second life and how long you've been here All right, here we go. Fourteen years, just like me. Yes, happy birthday, everyone. Okay, so this patch should be on. I'm gonna hit my music button. Let's see, did it work? Don't hear it. Toggle the music, everybody. Okay. Let's see.
Once you've toggled the music button, make sure you hit the play button as well. That always helps. You guys are all 12, 13. Wow, somebody's 17. So we have the oldest so far we have is 17 in the, ch in the YouTube chat. I still don't hear him. Hmm. Are we toggled again? Let's, let's hopefully I can I can get it working. I don't want you guys to miss the speech. Let's see. Yeah, it's not working. Yeah, I think some people are having problems getting it to work. Let's see if it pops up. Dazzle has no sound. We might just have to get there we one go. more parcel worked out. Yay. We're seeing nothing on Fascinate yet. We'll send some folks over there to check it out real quick. There you go. Let me know if you guys can hear him too. Yes, you could also play it in a media player externally. Do you guys hear him? Working on Dazzle. Awesome. Okay, great. I think we're almost there. Sweet. Okay, guys. Oh, and Strawberry can hear, so that's great. So do we have Fascinate? We're good to go. All right, I think I think we can get going now. Hurrah! Hello, everyone. Welcome to the 2021 Second Life birthday celebration. 18 years. And what a year we have behind us. So many things have happened. I almost don't know where to start. I suppose the biggest accomplishment for Second Life, and as a virtual world, was the move from a traditional hardware-based infrastructure to one that lives in the cloud. What I hope we can all see largely as a true success story, that throughout the transition did Second Life nary skip a beat. Sure, we had a few minor inconveniences. But largely, Second Life saw practically no downtime as the teams behind the efforts worked their magic, allowing us to continue our virtual lives uninterrupted. A huge thanks to the many engineers, developers, and the operations teams behind Second Life that keep everything running. In parallel, we've been focusing on various initiatives to grow Second Life. We undertook and continue to work on a project to reimagine the new user experience. This stem to stern approach takes a whole new look at the way onboarding residents is accomplished. A new region, a new user guidebook, along with updates and tweaks to the viewer's UI with refreshed web-driven content are part of the foundation to the new approach we have begun working on. In addition, many of you may have already noticed that our marketing team has been testing out several new campaigns to help us build on this momentum, including various versions of a new homepage and new strategic partnerships. We're continuing to iterate on all of these, so you'll see even more changes soon on the homepage and elsewhere as we continue to tell the story of what makes Second Life so amazing. We launched several exciting new themes for Linden Homes through the year, and my hunches tell me that some of you want to know more about why this particular theme was chosen for SL18B. 
Well, I suppose I cannot contain it any longer. The theming you see around you is partly the next newest addition to Linden Homes. Fantasy. This theme has several new, unique attributes, which are sure to amaze you. But, if you want to know more, you'll have to come see me at Meet the Lindens next week. The end of 2020 saw another really big change for Linden Lab. With new ownership having been put in place, Brad Oberwager and Randy Waterfield both have nothing but positive high hopes to see Second Life succeed and continue to have a very long, healthy, and prosperous future. I have worked very closely with Brad for over eight months now and has proven this to me as we experience his passion for Second Life together. From the first time in world to shopping for clothes, because of course, right? and touring around the many wonderful locations within Second Life, introducing him to this great world of ours, he has been hugely thankful and humbled by our time and experiences together. Speaking of shopping, how about that shop and hop this year? It officially opened at 9 a.m. SLT this morning, and it's the biggest shopping event we have ever had to date. There are 320 merchant creators participating this year, spread across 16 regions. This is huge. Second Life found new highs in 2020 between a worldwide pandemic taping, taking grip through the times of a tumultuous leadership change in the United States, during movements of civil changes that will forever live in history books. Second Life provided many with the comfort of a normal that continues to exist for all of us, where many use it to escape the real life pressures, stressors, and day-to-day -day challenges. In Second Life, we can be our ideal, our best, celebrate all that is good across the world together. Sadly, we have also seen some people go, and they will never be forgotten as they touched us. They gave us their best from their hearts, their minds and souls. And this thing called real life sometimes knocks on our door and makes a call. This is one of those calls. Ebbe Altberg started with Linden as our CEO on February 5th, 2014. He took the helm of the company and immediately went to work on reinvigorating our spirit and culture. Ebbe brought a profound openness. Transparency in his operation was key and that had many effects on all of us internally and externally. Lindens were again encouraged to be part of the vibrant community in Second Life, to participate in and to cherish it as part of our daily duties. Ebe also worked internally on embracing all aspects of Second Life, learning about its many nuances to understand the impacts of decisions we make. While being sensitive to those, and utilizing all of our resources, which firstly included you, the community, and many of us who are deeply embedded in Second Life. Abbey's goals for Second Life included promoting Second Life as the world's best virtual world, community, and platform. He also sought new adventures in building next generation products. But behind the scenes, Abbey worked tirelessly to improve the lives of everyone he surrounded, with him, surrounded himself with on our teams, and for the residents of Second Life. Abe would be very proud of our accomplishments today, and he would have been here among us as we celebrated Second Life turning 18 years old. There is no doubt in my mind that he wouldn't have had it any other way. Now please, a moment of silence as we reflect and remember those whom we've lost over the past year. Thank you. As I stand here before you today, I commit to all of you to carry forward with our mission of making Second Life the biggest, best, most vibrant virtual world there can ever be. 
to grow Second Life and to ensure the residents in Second Life are respected and happy with everything we do. Thank you to everyone for being here, a part of this wonderful world we enjoy so much together, Second Life. Thank you to the moles, the lindens, the residents, and volunteers who work so hard to bring this event to life every year. Here is to an awesome remaining 2021. I look forward to seeing everyone at Meet the Lindens. Next week, on Monday, there will be a special doubleheader of Lab Gab presented at 2 p.m. SLT at the auditorium. On Tuesday, Meet the Lindens featuring myself will start at 1 p.m. SLT. On Wednesday, Meet the Lindens with Grumpity Linden at 2 p.m. SLT. On Thursday, Meet the Lindens with Brett Linden at 1 p.m. SLT. And finally, on Friday, Meet the Moles will be at 1 p.m. SLT, all at the auditorium. The new Fantasy Linden Homes preview region, well, I don't know. Let's hold on that for a second. And just so you know, up here on this stage next is our first music performance at 1 p.m. SLT with Milan Zep. As a reminder, Music Fest for three days this year, runs three days this year through Saturday, June 19th. Uh, we've also got a special set of last names coming out later today that'll made, be made available. So with that, bye for now, have fun, and stay virtual. Oh, I bet you thought I almost forgot. Here's your countdown for Fantasy Linden Homes Demo Region. Three, two, one. Now go find it. Thank you, everybody. Okay, guys, I need a moment there, Patch. Literally made me cry. But uh, so, yes, surprise. Linden Home theme is fantasy. Uh, I'm going to stop the music stream now. Hopefully you guys can hear me still. I had turned off my mic so I didn't interrupt Patch. Um, I believe if you go to the welcome area, there is a teleport board there and there will be a Linden Home uh, demo area or something. And then you should be able to find it, um, the Fantasy Homes. That's the new theme that's been revealed. Uh, I'm not sure when the homes will actually be released. Um, but uh, yeah, it's there and a lot of the things that you see at SLA Team B are going to be part of those homes, the decorations and so on. Uh, they are absolutely beautiful. So check it out and the theme um, demo area for the Linden Homes will be there until July 6th. Everything will be there until July 6th. So you have lots of time to see everything. I am majorly lagging just because of the amount of people here. Uh, I'm going to just open up the map to show you just how crowded it is right now. We have uh, tons of people over here right now and all the regions are pretty um uh you know populated at the moment so uh, come on down you can join the fun this is going to go on until july 6th uh, i am going to head on over to some of the other places this is me right here roller uh, roller skating uh, <laughs> uh let me um I, first i wanted to actually let me take you to the tapestry of time real quick so if you look at the destination guide entries you'll see the tapestry of time is there and when you land there, you'll see that there is a wonderful statue of Abe that uh, Kronos Mall has created. And it's it's absolutely uh, beautifully done. I have a feeling I am going to crash. So I'm just going to switch on over and just to make sure just in case I crash. <laughs> um, and um, I will show you I will show you the the statue uh, and but you could you definitely should go and, and check it out yourself. I have to turn off the music stream now. I uh, don't want that on the stream when I'm walking around. Okay, so I have just landed. Gonna go back to the game. So when you land here at the Tapestry of Time, you go inside. I just did a big jump. This is this wonderful statue of Abe. I'm gonna show you. I have my draw distance a little bit low, but I may have to turn off my graphics because of course it's very crowded here. Uh, right now everybody is uh, checking out the places so let me just turn this off it's not going to look the best on the stream but you guys should definitely come down and check it out for yourself um, there we go so this is a wonderful statue of Abe uh, if you have checked out Tapestry of Time before uh, you know that it covers 
different highlights, uh, historical um, events uh, from all the years of a second life, uh, starting from, of course, the earliest, uh, which I think starts 2003 to start. Uh, I'm not sure if they go that far. Let me see. Yes, it does. So here we are. So it starts with 2003 and you can go around and learn something interesting about each year. Uh, you can read different facts. There's actually uh, videos that you can play. So you want to make sure you have your... Um... Yeah, that's true. It isn't a real experience unless you crash. <laughs> um, but you can play the videos for each year and check them out. Um, I do have my draw distance really low. That's why it's not rezzing. Let me just uh, up it a, a little bit. And then I'm going to cam on um, Ebe's statue. If you come here, you'll see it. And there is a little bit of... Um, uh, I think this is the message that Patch has had sent uh, to on the forums as well. You can check it out. And there is a memorial. I know a, a few people have found it in the Belisaria uh, region. Uh, we have not formally announced it yet, but we will announce it soon. Um, and, but you can also see the statue there. But uh, of course, come check it out over here. It's, it's just so beautifully done. Uh, kudos to Kronos for doing such a wonderful job. Uh, and also it goes all the way to 2021 this year. Um, so if you have been coming here and reading, you can read the 2021 um, edition over here. And we have a picture of some of my favorite moles. Um, so they've been really great to hang out with. Okay, so we've saw, seen the Tapestry of Time. Definitely take that, you know, uh, check that out. Um, the Meet the Lindens that he was talking about are going to be at the SL18B Auditorium. You can come and check those out on the days. And we, I am also going to be live streaming those to our YouTube channel. So you can also check them out on YouTube. Another place that I really wanted to show you was the DJ stage. The DJ stage is a wonderful creation by, I'm going to pronounce his name wrong. I think it's Faust Streamer or Steamer. I'm so sorry if I got the name wrong. <laughs> You guys can correct me. You, everybody knows who he is. He's uh, a wonderful content creator in Second Life. Uh, I am going to just turn on my uh, graphics higher because you have to see this thing in in motion. This is absolutely beautiful. I'm going to up my uh, um, shadows too a little bit because it's just it's so beautiful. Um, and uh, of course, I love the environment uh, that they've chosen uh, for this year's theme as well it goes so well with the fantasy but the dj st stage is just absolutely phenomenal uh definitely let me uh, increase the draw distance so i can cam out a little bit uh, if you haven't checked that out check it out and there's going to be a lot of partying happening starting this weekend i think the dj events are right after music fest the dj events start um so you can i'm gonna just i i really want you guys to see um it properly i'm just gonna pump up the scene gamma a little bit and uh, turn the haze down just so you can see the texturing on the turtle that is holding up the world. <laughs> Larry Niven that reference, but I love it. It's uh, it's wonderful. Um, I, I was just blown away by by the uh, by the build, so I, I really wanted to make sure you guys check that out. Uh, I'm gonna cam out as much as I can without getting trees in because the whole thing is just absolutely gorgeous. Like. And the turtle is even moving. It's just amazing. I, I just the, the amount of work that went into this, and it's just I can't even. I, I don't know. I, I don't. I, I'm just speechless. <laughs> it's beautiful, and you have to come see it for yourself because it's just that that amazing. Because just everything. Anyway, so this is the DJ stage. Come here on the weekends. Uh, there's going to be a lot of parties happening. Again, if you look in the description of the video. Um, I have uh, links to the landing page. The landing page, um, if you look, there is a calendar at the bottom of it. And that birthday calendar lists all the DJ events um, and everything. So you can come and party at the same time, uh, checking out the atmosphere. So I really wanted to show you this. Um, the other thing I wanted to show you, oh, l l let me sh quickly show you the pod tours. So you can come here and grab a pod and just sit in it and you can just explore all of the different exhibits. So if you if you come over here, um, again when you when you're teleporting around, when you go to the welcome area, you'll see these teleport boards. Um, mine hasn't resed yet. I'm just waiting for that to happen. 
Um, and on the teleport boards, there is a pod tours um, thing too, and you just click on it. It's it's going to be here. But this is the this is the pod tour over here, and you can just grab any of the pods. You sit on it, uh, right click and sit, or just click on it, and then you can. It takes you around all of the exhibits, and and as you're going by each exhibit, make sure you l watch the local chat because it'll give you a description. Um, in text of each exhibit that you are, um, you know, going by. Uh, so there are a lot. Somebody is asking about the gifts um, in the um, in the YouTube chat. So there are close to, I believe, up to 500 gifts available here. There's over 300 gifts gifts in the shop and hop area. Uh, every merchant should have a gift uh, in their store, and then a lot of the exhibitors have also put gifts. Um, so if you, if you know, you come down, you're walking around, make sure you pick up all your gifts. There's a lot of, uh, commemorative items to celebrate Second Life's 18th birthday. So really great stuff there. Uh, an another thing I wanted to show you, let's see, um, let's go to some of the exhibits. Now I, I don't, I don't have, a, I didn't see all 200, there's over 200 exhibits. I haven't had a chance to check them all out yet. But um, I've, I've seen a few that I've been listing on the destination guide and there was a few that kind of caught my eye. I thought that were, they were really interesting. So this first one is called Bears Gone Wild uh, and you'll see it on the um, on the destination guide. And, um, or why don't I just share this slurl in the YouTube chat so you guys can check it out. This is the Bears Gone Wild. Um, so the, the, the exhibitor, what they've done here is They've co collected different linden bears and um, bears from moles. Uh, I don't know if you you know about the tradition of linden bears. Uh, when I became a linden, that was like one of the questions that every single resident asked me, do you have a linden bear? So what, what when you see a linden in Second Life, uh, you can actually ask them for their linden bear. And it's usually a bear that we build ourselves, uh, which uh, usually is not, you know, it's it, it, it's kind of cute and goofy looking most of the time. Mine is a very newbie looking. Uh, I will attach it for a second so you guys can laugh and make fun of my because I do not I have zero building skills. The bears that are created by the moles are obviously a lot more um, you know creative and I think a lot of them are mesh and the texture is not even rising for me right now. Um, but uh, so you, you can you can come in and ask me for a bear if you see me in world. And I will I will hand you mine. So this person went on. This resident that did this exhibit went around and collected the bears. Oh, and here's mine, strawberry linden bear. And they placed our bears in different areas in Second Life, and they took a picture. So that's my red strawberry bear down over there. And uh, <laughs> I thought that was so interesting. So the other pictures haven't. For some reason, the strawberry one rezzed for me, which is interesting. <laughs> <laughs> the other pictures haven't rest for me yet. Uh, I'm going to just draw, reduce my draw distance and hopefully that'll help. But um, but yeah, so check out this exhibit. It's very interesting and you can click on the pictures and, and go to those places where the pictures were taken, I believe. Or you can also click on this question mark to get more information. Um, but yeah, so that's, I, I thought this was a really cute exhibit. I'm going to hold on to my bear for a little longer for some reason. The, oh, there we go. Now the texture rest. So that's my goofy looking newbie strawberry linden bear if you if you ever see me in second life you can ask me for it and i might give it to you I, i'm kind of embarrassed of it but but you know i might <laughs> so uh, another one i wanted to show you was i don't know if you guys remember uh, last year there was a machinima that came out called stomol it was um it was like a, a whole movie and it was an it won an award at a machinima festival so they actually have um a um an exhibit here about the movie which I thought was really cool and I believe there's they have it's like a it's like a scene from one of or a, I'm not sure <laughs> it's like one of the scenes it's like a whole setup of one of the scenes but I thought this was a very cool looking exhibit and for some reason my environment setting it had a really nice environment too but it hasn't kicked in for me yet oh I think I know why because I had my uh, environment setting and right now I have my lawnmower guy in the background uh, mowing my lawn so I apologize about that if you guys can hear <laughs> but uh, I thought this was really cool and I love the the, the whole environment setting uh, every parcel can do their own environment setting 
so um, definitely walk into the parcels don't just cam around walk into each parcel so you get the whole effect um, with the lighting that the that the exhibitor wanted but yeah very cool exhibit I, I really uh, liked this one another one I uh, exhibit that I really liked is uh, by uh, the um, um, just forgot the name ancient order of centaurs and they actually have something available for free here uh, like a whole centaur avatar or something but I thought the again that the environment is again theirs but I thought it was so beautiful um, really beautifully done I just feel like my lawnmower guy is just getting louder and louder <laughs> I don't know if you guys can hear him <laughs> uh, but if you uh, walk around uh, this exhibit there is something that you need to do I think it's like a hunt okay here we go so you wear this HUD and you you I don't know you win some prizes and then one of them is a whole centaur avatar which is really cool and which I don't have so I am gonna have to come back and and do this hunt thing to get this avatar because because it's always very interesting to me but really beautiful um, also wonderful exhibit uh, one more exhibit actually I'm gonna show you hopefully two more exhibits and then I'm gonna cut the stream um, there was one called circle of life which I thought was really cool because of course it's it's the whole Lion King um, moment on Pride Rock uh, hopefully I can res everything let's see and there is actually a pose ball up there that you can sit on so you're holding up Simba <laughs> See, it's right. You just sit here. I'm not going to sit there because I'm not sure what I'm going to look like sitting there. <laughs> but uh, the circle of life, um, I think, uh, exhibit is going to be a really great, um, f you know, photo moment for your, uh, you know, 18 birthday celebrations. So you can come here. This this exhibit is by Oxygen. So uh, really pretty with the animals. Uh, and I do love the environment setting as well. Uh, really well done. Uh, so pretty really I think you can take a lot of pictures here okay so there was one more it's called a secret garden I'm gonna go there next so all of the ones I'm going to right now are already on the destination guide I have been trying to add as many as I can I've only got uh, about 50 added so far but there are over 200 exhibits I don't think I'll be able to add all of them so you guys definitely walk through the regions look how beautiful this this secret garden is it's just uh, it's so well done so i had to i had to bring you guys here um so just walk through the regions i've linked it from our blog post uh, go through all the exhibitor regions go through each exhibit because i mean r these residents they have poured their heart and soul into these they're so well done so beautiful um, and there's little hunts and, and gifts and, and different things at every exhibit. So, you know, grab your friends, bring them. I think it's a great place to just hang out, walk around. You have until July 6th to see all of these. And I thought this was such a beautiful garden. And the lighting and everything is, is just stunning. And I'm not sure if this one has a hunt or a gift. I, I didn't inquire, but I just I just really love the look of it. Very peaceful. You can come in and there's like a little pose balls here that you can just um, you know different things like that so this is hidden guard so there's one more that I'll show you that that'll be my last one because I'm I, I kind of wanted to keep it to a half an hour show uh, but the the last one that I wanted to show you was I thought was a really interesting concept it's called hidden worlds no not it's called hidden words <laughs> and what this resident did was they went around uh, and they asked different residents what Second Life means to them. And they asked them to describe it in one word. And then they took those words and they put it in inside this treasure chest. So you can actually go inside the treasure chest. Okay, here. Maybe I'm not explaining it properly. But yeah, if you click on, um, click on you can click the note card. And I think it has the names of the residents that they asked or something. So anyways, we're going to go inside and experience this and again I, I do have my shadows on now that's good so these are the words that people use to describe second life which is adventure and music and giving and friendship and therapeutic and visionary inclusive and ins inspired 
reinventions, value, creativity, fascinating, escape. I resonate with all of these and I, I believe a lot of us residents do when it comes to Second Life. So yeah, so I'm, I think I'm going to end the stream here because there's so many places for you guys to explore here. I can't show them all, but I think you have until July 6th to see it and I think you, you can you know just come every day you know bring your friends spend some time and and just celebrate Second Life's 18th birthday with us it's it's amazing that we've been here for 18 years and again like I said I've I've been here for 14 myself and uh, and Second Life has impacted my life in so many ways um, you know changed it in so many ways uh, I have a career a whole different career <laughs> because of Second Life so um, you know really impacted my life and I know it's it's done the same for so many people in a variety of different ways I'm just roller skating around sorry I have no control over the AO <laughs> but um, it's it's amazing that it's here 18 years later and we know that it's going to be here so many more years to come and we're looking forward to many more changes and and updates and hopefully you know a lot more uh, you know innovation and i hope you guys are along for the ride thank you so much for watching today i hope you guys enjoyed the speech i hope you guys have fun at the birthday if you see me you can ask me for my linden bear and i will give it to you and <laughs> and i will be back on monday with another lab gab uh which will start at 2 p.m on Monday. So that will be with the whole leadership team. So uh, check it out. Uh, hope you guys enjoy it. Have fun, guys. Happy birthday, Second Life. Bye, everyone. Who did this exhibit? I'm going to share the slurl here. I don't remember the name of the resident. This is the last exhibit. Okay. All right. <laughs> All right. Bye, guys. See you later.